If you want to drastically improve your picking technique, speed and control in 2021, you came to the right place today. Once again, this is one of the absolute biggest topics that I want to focus on in my practice routines in 2021. And I think I already found the key workout for that that will make a huge difference this year. Quick disclaimer, this is a really challenging but also very powerful workout. And I will explain all of its amazing benefits in this video. And after that, you're more than welcome to practice this together with me with the special video play alongs that I recorded for patreon.com slash I hope you're ready to level up your picking power right now. Let's do this. Last year we worked on a lot of really cool 3 note per string phrases, classic shred licks and even went into 4 note per string territory briefly, so we explored a lot of really interesting topics. And classic 3 note per string stuff like that is what I would describe as my comfort zone. <laughs> One of the biggest frustrations I keep hearing about when it comes to mastering this playing style is nailing those fluid and clean string transitions. This is also something that I would like to work on more this year to break free from using the same patterns over and over again. So what can we do to perfect our string transitioning skills when it comes to fast and technical guitar playing? Of course, since it's this channel, we have to take it to the absolute extreme. Today we are working with arpeggio shapes that you will mostly recognize from different sweep picking exercises, but there is no economy picking and no sweep picking allowed for today. We are alternate picking throughout the entire exercise, so downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke and so on. And if you're like me, that will feel like absolute hell when you do that for the first time. To begin today's torture session, let's check out the workout at a slow tempo at first. Okay, so at first that doesn't look too bad. As you can see, I reduced the stretches with the left hand and we're also only working with two different arpeggio shapes so that we can fully focus on our right hand technique. And at the end of the exercise, there's also a third shape, a diminished shape to make the sound a bit more interesting. So essentially we're just descending chromatically and we move from a minor arpeggio to a major arpeggio to a minor arpeggio to the same major arpeggio and then we're ending the line with a diminished arpeggio. So far so good, playing arpeggios like that with sweep picking is relatively easy for me by now since I worked a lot on this technique. <laughs> But when we do this with alternate picking, things get a lot harder because we mostly just have one stroke per string and constantly have to switch between downstrokes and upstrokes. So that means you can't just go with one of those two picking angles we discussed last year to make things easier for three note per string licks, for example. As you might remember from last year, the so-called trick with licks like that is that you're starting with the same stroke for almost all strings. So you can basically angle your pick for the entire duration of the lick and you get great results for your string transitions that way. But now look at the picking pattern we have to master in order to play this exercise. Most of the time we're just playing one note per string, so the motion is constantly turning around and you can't just stick to one favorable angle to kind of cheat the system that way. You really have to master your string transitioning motion, especially at higher tempo so that you don't get stuck between the strings or touch any other strings that you don't want to play on. To get a better understanding of this key factor that we're working on today, please check out the slow motion footage I prepared for you. This is how my picking motion looks like when I play the exercise a little bit faster. So as you can see for this kind of playing style and exercise, I can't really lock up my right hand and keep a stiff angle. It's rotating just a little bit. This kind of really subtle motion that you can see right now with the slowdown footage allows me not to get stuck between the different strings. As you can see, the pick has to escape in two different directions and that's why I can't keep the same picking angle for this kind of playing style. With this loop, you can see angle and motion number one. And with this loop, you can see angle and motion number two. As you can see, they are completely different. 
Quick emergency intermission. I can see that you sadly keep missing a lot of very helpful exercises and guitar content like that. Still around 70% of you guys and girls watching these videos are not subscribed to this channel yet. So make sure to become a real part of this guitar community right now and stay on track from now on. I think that I might be able to read some of your thoughts at this point. One of them might be, okay, that's all kind of interesting, but why would you play it that way if it's much easier with sweep picking or with economy picking? That is a great and really smart question and of course when it comes to very high tempos I would play the arpeggio with sweep picking, not only because it's much easier that way. Just from a physical standpoint I can play it much faster that way and I could never play it at those tempos with alternate picking, that's just not possible. But what I'm training with this exercise is not just playing those arpeggio shapes with alternate picking instead of sweep picking, this is also really beneficial for me right now with figuring out odd alternate picking patterns and not getting stuck between the strings instead of just working with the same patterns over and over again. After practicing this approach for just a couple of days now I already feel much much better with that and I made some significant breakthroughs. So this is not just about playing this lick and arpeggio sequence as fast as possible, it's about perfecting and cleaning up those string transitioning skills and that is something you will need with tons of different topics when it comes to playing guitar, especially with all the technical fast and shreddy stuff that we all love. Now let's check out the exercise performed in some faster tempos. Don't forget to download the tabs, guitar profiles and backing tracks for this exact workout in different tempos on patreon.com slash Bernd. As always I also recorded some really helpful video play alongs so that you can practice this together with me in every single practice routine from now on and I'm quite sure that you will make some amazing progress with those additional files in the next couple of weeks. So as you could see it already starts to get a bit tricky for me at around 120 beats per minute performing 16th notes. So this is something I really want to dedicate some extra time to in my practice routine from now on. And I think this is the perfect exercise for another progress video in the next couple of months to compare it to the takes from right now. I can already feel that this one is gonna be a big game changer for me personally and I can't wait to get back to practicing it. In case you have any questions about this exercise or about my personal practice routine in general remember to hit me up on Patreon. We have a secret inner circle VIP Facebook group where we are discussing exercises, practice concepts and all of that fun stuff. And of course I'd also love to welcome you there in case you need any motivation or assistance. In the end make sure to subscribe to join this guitar community today so that you never miss another video like that one again. Leave a like in case you enjoyed that one and a comment to share your thoughts about this exercise. I will hopefully see you again in the next video. All the best and have a lot of fun practicing until then.